Is anyone out hey, there? Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. <coughs> Hello, people. <laughs> Is anybody on? How are y'all doing? Yay. Yes, my honey. What's up, Diana? Hey. Hilltop Home Place. Hi. Diana. Hey. Groovy Grandma from Toledo, Ohio. Hey, Susan from Mississippi. Hey, LaWanda from Adventures with T and Me. What's hey, up, Chris. Bay, is it Bay Tylette from Michigan? Hey, Allison. Happy Michigan. Monday. Michigan. Hey, Vanita. How are you? Hey, Teresa. Chris. Hey, Chris. Mary Hart Greenhouse. Hello. Howdy. <coughs> hey, Meg's little house in the country. Is it warming up yet? Thanks, Diana. We can hear and see you. Hey, y'all, Edie. Edie Rice from St. Augustine, Florida. Hey, Cheryl. It's Beth. Beth Tyler from Michigan. Hey, Beth. Well, good evening. I hope everybody's doing well tonight. Oh, it's happy early morning in the UK. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. Hey, from... Where? New Mexico. New Mexico. Patty. Hey. Wow. We've got people from everywhere. Okay, it's tea time. Huh? I'm Did you not get waiting. some honey? Yeah. Okay. We are drinking tonight. I'm keeping it simple. Uh, last <laughs> week, some of you commented and said I was drink. We were drinking the whole herb garden. <laughs> I had a lot of things mixed in here, and it was really good. It was. It was a good mixture. It was a good blend. It was good. Tonight, we're just having lemon balm and my last, the very last of my chamomile. So, we have got to yeah. get some more growing. And a lot of you were interested in this uh, teapot. So, how this teapot works is I, I don't, this does not go on the stove because it's glass. So, I boil my water in one of these. And then you put your herbs inside this little metal diffuser here. And you pour that hot water over it and fill it up. And it just, you it let steeps, it steep. Steeps in there, yeah. We let it steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then <clears> we <throat> get a delicious herbal tea. And Gene got this for me in Quebec. Quebec. When he was there on a business trip, he picked it up for me. And I love my teapot. I love it. Actually, that was in <laughs> Granby. Granby, Canada. I think the name of it is. Hey, Phyllis Cap. How's it going? We look forward to seeing you in just a couple of weeks. And all of you who others who are going to be there. Can't wait to see y'all at Antiques in the Garden at our meet and greet event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, Glenn Martin from Glenn and Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's. from Gulfport, Mississippi. Okay. Gulfport. Ola from the Bay Area, California. Hey, Rebecca, Jennifer. What happened? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Facebook's not going to be working. Well, okay. Good deal. It's good to see everybody. Boy, Catherine, your potage garden is starting to look like this. Yeah, it is. You've been working hard in that garden. She works hard for the money. Hey, Joyce from yeah. Kentucky. Yes. Go, Jean, go. That's right. Oh, that's <laughs> is, her name. Go, Jean, go. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Yeah, we can't wait to see you, Londa, at Petals. I can't tell you how many people fun, spell fun, my fun. name that way when I go to the bank or somewhere like that. Gene, I say Gene, and they were at G. <laughs> I'm like, no, Chick Fil A. Gene, I am um, from Quebec. Gish, Gish, Gishlan, Gishlan, Gishlane Shampoo. <laughs> that was a good try. <laughs> hey, awesome. Yeah, I love Quebec. It's awesome. 
I was there at the right time of the year, and I can't remember when it was, but they were having some big festival out there around. It was a like a big fair, but it was awesome. <clears throat> That's where I got that jewelry for, for you. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, pollen's been... Go Jean Go says, I'm named after my dad. His name is John. Nice. Okay. Gene Jr., there's old Joe again. Hey, Joe. What's up, troll man? <laughs> hey, Linda Anderson Casilla from Ooh. New Hampshire. I love me some New Hampshire. Yep. Yep. We hope everybody had a happy Easter. Did y'all have <coughs> a blessed Easter? We did. We had a house full. Yes. We had I think a they house. had 300 and something eggs out for two, for two kids. Yes, we had... I didn't. I think she it did. was just around 200 eggs we hid. Um, my mom came and spent the night. My brother, his <coughs> sister in law, and my little nephew came. My sister in law's mom, uh, my nephew's two cousins, Jean's mom and dad, Jean's aunt, Emma, and mm -hmm. uh, cousin, um, Brenda. So we had a house full. Now, our kids wasn't here, they didn't get to come because of work. It's a girl. Yep, it's a girl. We're having a baby Pete. girl. Yep. Yes. For those of you who didn't know, we're having another grandbaby. Um, not our youngest son, Chance, but our oldest son, Chase. Yep. Is having us. Kaylani a, and Chase, Chase. and Kaylani are having us a granddaughter. This will be the first girl in our family. Yep. And uh, we're excited. We already know her name. It's going to be Ella Rain <coughs> Brittanell. So we're super excited about having a little girl. Pennsylvania. It's pretty awesome. I don't know if I'll know what to do with a girl. All I've ever had is boys. I'm just going to throw a ball at her. <laughs> she can catch it. Yeah, right. You'll be out there. Okay, the name of this plant is Sassafrilus nidicolus. That's right. I'll be teaching her about mm -hmm. some gardening stuff. Yes. Um, What's up? Thank you, Diana. Yes, y'all please hit the like button. Hit family form. Hey, uh, nice pictures. Zach and Jacqueline and Eleanor. Nice Easter pictures y'all had. Yes, that was awesome. beautiful Easter pictures. <clears throat> beautiful Easter pictures. Amanda Daw from Glenville, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All right. Yes. Oh, what's that? Oh. Yeah. Jane Webb. Can't wait to see Jason's protege garden since you suggested what else to plant in there. Yes, I had a fun day. What day was that? Wednesday or Thursday? Mm -hmm. Wednesday. That day. I went to see Jason and Brooke at Cog Hill. And I was so excited to go because we haven't been there it's since. It's been a while since we. It's been. It's been over a year. wasn't full yet. It's been over a year since we actually have been <coughs> to their house. And. The last time we were there, they hadn't even started building the barn yet. Well, the barn's completed, of yeah. course, and everything looks so different. Mm -hmm. The parter the Alabama Parterre Garden is gorgeous. The orchard is beautiful. The flower farm, the greenhouses, the <laughs> barn, everything looks so Cat, pretty. Cat's got five girls. Oh, so my gracious, five girls. But everything looks so different. And we had so it was so good to see them and just get to talk to them, hang out with them, talk about uh, gardening, my favorite subject. And we had a good time. So what, I, what all trees has he got now? Um, he had. I suggested what she's talking about is the yeah. trees that I suggested. They're planting. He's planting some crab apples, which are beautiful spring mm. blooms, and make little crab apples, which the birds are going to love. And um. Chinese pistache trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's doing the Chinese pistache as like a backdrop of the crab apples. It's going to be so pretty. Those pistache trees are some of our I favorites. Love them. Gorgeous. Linda. Hey, Lynn. How you doing? How's Lin Brett? How's everybody? How's the girls? Wow. Linda's preparing for a nor'easter. Good gracious. Snowstorm. Oh, oh, I oh, could, my, oh my gracious. Snow. More snow. Oh, the but anyway, it was sun. really good to see right. them, and we we went over some uh, plants that to add in the Alabama Parterre Garden. They're going to add the vaccinium doroise, the Easy. little rosa blush. Don't talk no vaccines up in here. The little roses blush blueberry, native blueberry, and some Ryan's pink chrysanthemums for yeah. fall color. <clears throat> 
and little Salvio Gregias, which I read the coolest thing the other day about companion planting. So I didn't know this, but the little salvias, uh, the salvia gregias, that's the ones with the little tiny leaves and they only get about two feet tall and they bloom from spring until frost. They're, they're all different colors. Mm -hmm. There's raspberry, hot lips, lipstick. Hot. Mm, There's all so different lips. colors. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful little salvias. Well, I read as a companion plant that they're really good to plant under roses at the base of roses because when they bloom, they put off this, uh, the fragrance that they put off and they, they emit a sulfur and the sulfur helps keep the black spot, powdery mildew okay. and stuff like that off of your roses That's Amazing, and that it does make sense, but I never thought about it. So I asked Shelly at Petals from the Past when I was there the other day if she thought that could be true. And she said it <clears> very well could be true. That fragrance that they put off having that uh, the sulfur in it, that that could work. So I suggested that to Jason and he's planting some of those at the bases of his mm -hmm. American Pillar Roses in that parterre garden. It's going to be so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. So what's happening over here? Philip said, calm down. Calm down. These hot lips. Calm down. <laughs> uh, I know I'm missing comments. Uh, anyway, it was fun to go hang out with Jason. It was good to see Brooke. She um, She's doing better, she's, but you can tell she's just, she's not mm. feeling her herself. And y'all keep her in your prayers. She's dealing with some health issues, which... If y'all know Jason and Brooke, y'all know that. And she has finally has an appointment on April the 8th, I think. I got it wrote down. I think it was April 8th. She has an appointment. So we're praying mm -hmm. that I she'll get that. some answers and she'll feel better and get better. Um, yes, something else to add to my list to get at petals. Yep. I, lots to get at petals. Yeah, so we had um, Easter. Good evening, Martha from Alabama. We, we had the, the flying peach up the road. They got us uh, all oh, kind of food. Ava, Ava started archery class today. Super mm -hmm. cool. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> gonna, <laughs> oh, boy. She's going to be a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we, we got uh, all kind of good food from flying peach. Yes, yes. Uh, chicken, pork. Uh, peach cobbler. I got out of cooking yes. yesterday for all those people, and we ordered that was food from fantastic flying peach barbecue. and a uh, hash brown casserole. Yep. And oh. did you say peach cobbler? I already said that. We and we have been doing so good. He's especially we, been doing good. How much we, weight have you lost? That's okay. We He's took, lost 20 we had to, something pounds. We had to make how uh, much weight you lost? That's okay. We had to, if you tell people, that's when you mess up. No, it's not. He's lost so, 20. I'm proud of him. He's doing so good. He's lost 20 something oh, pounds. Sure. And then yesterday we ruined it and we ate peach cobbler and ice cream and banana pudding. And well, it was rough. we made the family take it all with them because if it had stayed here, that's, yeah, she'd have been getting up at 2 a.m. Probably. It was so oh, good. Oh, boy. So good. Yep. But yeah, we had a good lunch yesterday. We had a <coughs> wonderful service at church. Yeah, my mother made awesome. blackberry cobbler too. We yes, had black blackberry berry, cobbler. Banana nut bread. Banana pudding. My father made banana pudding. Oh my gracious. So they so petals is sold out of Lamarck and Peggy Martin. I'm not surprised. That's some of the first ones to go. Hey chance. Hello, son. <laughs> oh, you found the you found the flying peach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Bill. Oh, yes. Phyllis Cap. did. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. that place is good. They, they're they're really good people, and they mm -hmm. um, were, um, you yeah, know, have other fun. jobs too. And they were in business, and then they had to slow down when COVID hit, kind of. And then now they're back open, and man, they're they are they sell out like crazy. Yeah. Yes, Lawanda. Also, keep baby Pharaoh Brown with our Brown Farmhouse in your prayer. She's having open heart surgery on April the 10th. Oh, she found your 20 pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. 
Maybe so this, ca- maybe these herbal teas will help with a little detoxification, foodification. Uh, Catherine's stocking up on roses. Mm-hmm. Arizona. Hey, thanks, Deanna. Hey, Rachel Dupree Lopez. She has a chance too. She's new to our channel. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Deanna. Edwards. Deanna, welcome to our channel. We're glad you're here. Yeah, Jason did a little video about me being there and helping him with some oh, garden design stuff. And we've got a lot of new um, subscribers and followers on our channel now. So if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. Yep. It's a little bit of a delay Yeah, when you flip from one to the other. Oh, okay. We're trying to, on the comments, we're trying to flip and see comments from Facebook. And then we flip over and see comments for YouTube. So we're kind of maybe a little bit delayed on stuff. Also, yeah. y'all can keep our little friend Eleanor head in your prayers. She's, she's hurt. She's broke her finger and oh, yeah. she may end up having to have surgery. Mm-hmm. And I hope Jacqueline, y'all don't mind me mentioning this, but the more prayer warriors we got, the better. I think, I hope it's okay, Jacqueline. What is your all time? You what is your all time favorite plant to grow and eat? My all-time favorite plant to grow and eat. Well, that's you can't answer that question because she eats everything before it even has a chance to grow. So, oh man, I don't. <laughs> that's hard. Uh, maybe carrots. Yeah, I you just love have to. maybe carrots. Carrots was my life-changing vegetable. The very first carrot that I grew and I pulled from the ground and ate it right in the garden. Brushed off that? the dirt and ate it. You had a white one one time. It was really yeah, good. Yeah, it, it was like life-changing because carrots, all food that you grow doesn't taste near as good from the grocery store as it does from the garden no. for so many reasons. But pulling that carrot from the ground that I grew from a teeny teeny little seed and eating that, it was like that made me want to really start growing my own food. Carrots. I don't know. <clears throat> that's too hard, Phyllis. That's too hard. I so love to grow Susan's and eat everything. Asking, Susan's asking, how are you feeling? And she's had a little bit of a rough day today. Yeah, Tracy I, has, I so. haven't felt too good the past couple of days, really. Yeah. So you got a update coming soon. Yeah, I got to. I got a, um, a doctor's another doctor's appointment coming up soon. So. I mean, I'm I'm ninety percent better than what I was, but so you, some days I just don't feel very well. Like like Thursday, Jean took off work Thursday, Friday, and then we had Easter weekend. This man of mine took easy. off work, easy. took vacation days to help me in the garden and to help do garden projects. I was making deposits into the love bank. I mean, <laughs> how many husbands take off work to work their honeys off in the garden? Hey, we got a lot done. We got a lot done. Yeah. I got a video coming out Thursday to share with y'all, but we got so much done. Yeah. But by Saturday, my mom came Saturday, spent the night with us, and she got here she didn't get here till about three but by saturday i was so exhausted like it just wore me out mm-hmm. and i really couldn't do much i mostly just sit on my bench in the garden and thought about what i was gonna do eleanor said thank El- you hey eleanor hey sweet girl we're praying for you i love you yes so yeah someone had mentioned just a minute ago it's already Are you off gone, the feed. um Tell everybody hey for me. Um, that Peggy Martin rose that we we had to tie ours up because we we really cut it back a big time this year. Yeah, we um, we cut it to because the we had to we we got the digger and we had to make our little pull in for our uh, cover. And good gracious, I can't even talk. The little carport thing we had to make it wider because the digger was so much wider than that golf cart. So we had to cut that Peggy Martin down, and it has just it's about to oh, explode. It, it's going to be beautiful. It's amazing yeah. how fast it grew back. Beautiful. Peggy Martin's just resili- resili- resilient. Yes. I'll get it go. out in a minute. Mm-hmm. Diana says, we have 79 people here to support us tonight. Thank y'all. Everybody hit the like button. Yes, please. Everybody hit the like button. 
We appreciate y'all joining us at our farm table. Do y'all like our name, the farm table, where you can pull up a chair and chat all about gardening, farming, Hula Hut. and life. <laughs> Jeff. Hula Hut. Hula Hut. Okay. He's Hula Hut is <laughs> our daughter-in-law's so father. Facebook. He's, oh, boy. And we love them. Jeff and Monica, we love yeah, them. Yeah, they've they, been they've been playing with old Coop and got him some cars for Easter, and he's the kind <laughs> you whine back. He gets tickled because they go off, ah, crash and burn, baby. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. I talked to about planting drift roses. What was that question? Did you switch Here, on me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, mm. Took me till I was yeah. to plant drift roses because of what Jason did. I follow your advice religiously. I received great news from my doctor follow because I'll be back at work soon. Awesome. So Francid. Pat said so Pat Fran Chandler's Francid. asking Francid. um Yeah, Francis Hamrick. Mm -hmm. Um Pat's asking how do we keep deer out of the garden? Well, I'm one of those uh an Indian type person. Uh vegetarian for Indian is like starving. <laughs> <laughs> so no but uh, we keep the deer out of the garden just simply uh champ our labs up here and we've got a uh, great pyrenees he, some he knows when a gnat flies on the property and uh he's so funny yeah we've built um we've got a um a fence going around part of our protege and um we're we put up a whole, whole another section this weekend and eventually we're going to have it all surrounded but um it's it's it hadn't really had that many problems since we started doing this and yeah i tell you one good thing that helps too to keep deer out is a fertilizer called melorganite yes it uh it the deer hate the smell of it and it's a good natural organic fertilizer for your fruit mm -hmm. vegetables whatever it lasts a while the only thing about it though is when it rains then you have to reapply it yeah but it's just not expensive. And you don't want to over fertilize your plants either, trying to keep the deer out. But so I, I also disc a uh, garden spot from my father over on his side. And as it? soon as we just clicked right there. All right. As soon as we um got it planted, I I disc up a I don't know, a, a ten by ten, ten by fifteen spot for him so he could plant a few tomatoes and squash and okra. Yeah, he and, was like a kid in a candy shop. Yeah. And and the very next day we went out there and there were deer tracks all in the dirt. It's amazing how the dirt are the deer are attracted to dirt, fresh dirt. You break it up. They're going to come in it every time. Uh, Deanna <coughs> or De Deanna or <coughs> Dina Edwards says, took me until I was 50 to figure out that I absolutely love gardening. It calms me and keeps me sane. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> I'm hoping in the next year I'll have some land to do like you guys in Cog Hill. And we found some Atkinson tomatoes. I bought yeah, some. We got yes, some. we didn't get to grow them by seed because we wanted to get them out. But Hey, Linda Brittnell. Linda Fern. <laughs> she said we're not breaking up like we were mm. last time. Hey, crazy Lizzie. Hey, Mama Hoss. Is Mama Hoss on here? I didn't see Sheila come across. Sheila. Diana says, hey, Mama Hoss. Sheila, are you on? It's Greg under Sheila's Is it name. Greg? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. We're excited to see everybody on here. It's fun. Fun, fun. Hey, we ha I had a question. What's up, Brown Thumb? I had, hey, y'all. Hey, uh, Rob and Deb. Generations Homestead. I had a question that I found on Instagram. Somebody had asked, how old were you? This is from Patty Joe 12. How old were you when you realized that you loved to garden and who inspired you? This reminded me of you saying you just found out you loved gardening when you were 50. I was probably... How old was I? In my mid twenties, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. I never grew growing up. I just hey Sheila, Sheila is here. Hey y'all, your new building is looking awesome. Uh, Greg's here too. <laughs> um, we love you guys. Um, so I my whole life, I just thought I figured vegetables came from the grocery store i didn't know they come from the ground i mean we did not garden we did not garden my mom Who is, didn't? 
my mom, you, and dad. Don't and me. say we. No, I said I'm talking about. It's me. Okay. You, you, can, you, tell, sure. you can tell your story. Anyway. Making sure. Making sure. So I Not was in my mid twenties. I always wanted to be a fashion designer or interior City designer. Slicker. I was moving to New York, and that's what I was going to do. That Richard G Richard Gere and Julia Roberts movie messed her up. <laughs> no, that's always <laughs> what I wanted to do. And I had no desire for gardening whatsoever. I didn't want to get dirty. I didn't want to sweat. I didn't want bugs. I didn't want none of that. But then we got married, and we bought our first little house. <clears throat> we had babies, had boys. And he built me an herb garden. I got interested in herbs. What's up, Chase? That's my son. Is Chase on Yeah. There? Where? Right there. Oh, hey, Chase. I didn't recognize your, your name on there. Hey, buddy. We've already been talking about the new granddaughter. Yes. How's it going, bud? We miss our Chase around here. So you got here. a question from Georgine Hatch. Okay, well, I got to finish answering right. my other one. We'll answer the question. So anyway, I was in my mid twenties, and Jean built our first, my first little herb garden, and I fell in love with it, and it just went wild from there. And who inspired me was my two neighbors, yeah, Mr. Smitherman and Mr. Williams. Sammy. I have one on one side of us, and we have one on the they other. They were competitive gardeners. They were competitive gardeners, <laughs> and. When we first moved into this house, I would come home. I'd drive up from taking the boys from to school, and there would be vegetables piled up on my porch, stuff that I didn't even know what it was, like a rutabaga. And they would come over, and I'd say, did you bring those vegetables? And they'd be in a competition to see who could bring me the most vegetables. And they inspired me. Mr. Williams got me into herbs with his garlic and his peppermint growing everywhere. And Mr. Smitherman, Mr. Sam got me into the tomatoes and the muscadines yep. and his blueberries. And, and tomatoes. Yeah, yeah tomatoes. and his maters, his Atkinson tomatoes. Yep. They were probably my biggest garden inspiration. <laughs> and it was awesome. Well, I wish we could get a translation. Uh, Gislaine Champeau says, oh, oh, I speak uh, French. French, French and English. Oh. Yes. Well, hey, we got a question. Uh, Georgine Hatch says, uh, how do I know if seeds need light or heat to germinate? Well, that's where you pretty much have to read the seed packet or research each one. Most of your herb, like a lot of your herb seeds need light to germinate. So they just need to be like surface sowed. Um, but some of them, most seeds really yeah. don't need light to germinate. They need heat and humidity mm -hmm. to germinate. And then once that little seedling comes up, they've got to immediately be in light. So, uh, but some seeds, like I said, like herb seeds, they do need light to germinate. A lot, not all of them, but a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So you have to really just do a little bit of research on each one that you're growing. So how's Jordan doing? And Kiana. Yes. And Kaylani. Kaylani. Is she and feeling better? Ella Rain. Well, I'm sure Ella Rain's <laughs> not speaking yet. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. They're telling Chase congrats on the baby girl. Yes. Um, Pulaski, Tennessee. Hey, we've been there. <laughs> we've been to Pulaski. <clears throat> Some little lake out there. And sure. Got sunburnt really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. I don't know how to do the translation thing, but that's something we need to figure out. What did Vanita, Vanita, Van, did I say your name right? Vanita, Vanita. What did she just say about? I always had to get my hand in the dirt to start spring. Did flower beds forever and just started doing food again last year, concentrating on herbs for medicine. Yes. You've been growing a lot of herbs lately. Mm -hmm. Praying for Stephen. Yeah. Yes. He's going to Kenya. I'm not sure. Do you know yeah. the date he's going, Rob? I'm, it, I, don't, I think it's two weeks or a I week or two. I know it's soon. He's going to be going to Kenya on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. uh, Crazy Lizzie's Goat Farm. Gardening just always been a part of my life. I thought it was the other kids. Weird other yeah. kids didn't do it. <laughs> so um, when is Stephen going on his mission trip? Y'all keep him in your he's prayers. He's going to Kenya. Yeah, I know. I just don't know when. Was hops one that needs stratification? Yes. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's where you put it in the fridge or the... 
Cold stratification is some of your seeds need cold temperatures to actually to germinate. And you can trick them into thinking they've had their cold temperatures by putting them in the refrigerator for a little while, subjecting them to those cold wow. temperatures. Uh, Fran said, yeah, we we have a lot of raccoons here because we're we're not far off the Alabama River. So the raccoons are we got creeks and springs and hey, Sonia. raccoons are everywhere, but mm -hmm. they, they tend not to come up around the house. Um, thank God. Yeah. They do eat all my corn out of my deer feeders. So who has planted your tomatoes and peppers already? Who got their who got their eight gardens the planted? Oh, okay. Eight through the eighteenth. Awesome. Um, hey Alan, how's it going? How are y'all? Um, Is it too late? Is that's it... Wendy and Alan. Okay. Is a it too late for what? For the stratification doing that. The uh, is it too late? They might need one. Mine didn't do good. No, it's not too late. Okay. Mm -mm. Go ahead and do it. Not too late at all. Mm -hmm. Um, what was I just? Oh, yeah. Who who got their garden planted on Good Friday? All you right. Know, you know, Alan, Alan did. Alan got yep. everything in the ground. We're good. <laughs> no, I asked how they were. I <laughs> no. said we're good. Yes, I'll plant mine next weekend. Jennifer says. Yeah, that's well, that's about when we. Yeah, I, we're gonna plant. Probably this week, this coming There's, up weekend. There is two or three days this week where we're going to be touching 38, 39 here where we live. Mm -hmm. And we're just a little bit leery about putting it out. Well, tomatoes can actually tolerate to 33 degrees. Mm -hmm. When it gets to 32 and freezing, they're going it's going to zap them and kill them unless you try to cover them and protect them. But at 38, I think. I think it's 38 degrees. You can get a it light frost. It slows down can, the uh, it development on the tomato if it hits it. So, I I am um, I'm just holding out a little bit on my tomatoes and peppers. Everything else, I'm getting in the ground. But those warmer things, tomatoes, peppers, I'm I'm holding out till this coming up weekend. Snow and hail. And yeah, okra gracious. and sweet potatoes, I'm waiting for a while. Your ground's got to be pretty, it's got to be pretty warm for those to get going. Rachel, what part of Kansas are you in? Planted their blueberries, head family farm. He's, yep, Bunch blueberries, blueberries and, and figs. figs. in the ground today. Awesome. Yeah, got to get some manuals in the ground. My crooked little homestead, good evening. DNA test. <laughs> what? There you go. But my granddaddy had a couple of secret families we were finding out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Wichita. Okay. You ever seen Dorothy? <laughs> oh, me. We've got Canada. all of our beds ready. Crooked Little Homestead. First time to your love. Oh, okay. Ontario, Canada. Awesome. Welcome. We're glad yes. you're here. I love Canada. Maybe not the government, I've but never I love been. Canada. I haven't been. It's beautiful. Yep. Wait until the pecan trees begin to leaf out. That's when you know for sure. I think there's going to be a lot of people planting this weekend. Ben's <clears throat> planting hers this weekend. I We're going to have a big planting going on this weekend. We planted some fruit trees this past weekend, and we've got all of our beds ready. And I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little plant babies in the greenhouse saying, plant me, plant me, plant me. Well, I just so, couldn't imagine. They see Toto all the time out there. In Kansas. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Man, all those tornadoes, that just, I mean, we, we have a lot of tornadoes here, but I don't yeah. know, out there, Oklahoma and Kansas. Woo. Oh, Zach or Jacqueline decided to do a blueberry hedge in the protege. Oh, nice. That's going to be nice. Good, good, good. Mid-May in Toledo. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we planted some. <coughs> we planted two. After I finished with my visit with Jason and Brooke, I drove over to Petals from the Past because when you're only 20 minutes away from there, you have to go. So I went on over there and I picked up two more pear trees, two Asian pears. I got Shinko nice, yeah. and Korean Giant. Yeah. And I got another fig because one of my figs died, and we planted those. Did you tell them about the, the arch? We built, so 
Well, I was going to let them watch okay, the video, well, but I, I got to go ahead and tell you now. <laughs> so we built, we added another addition onto the protege garden. We, we added another fence addition onto the front of the protege garden. The new addition, the new addition of the protege garden, which is the fruit orchard and market garden. We did the front of that fence there mm -hmm. and we're going to be growing espalier and our fruit trees on that. Mm -hmm. This year, we're going to grow some beans on part of it. Mm hmm. And then this fall, we'll plant muscadines there. Yeah. But we built that fence. We built a tunnel, a gourd tunnel, as an entrance into the market garden. Y'all have to watch the video this Thursday so you can see it. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. So this gourd tunnel, I'm going to grow little decorative gourds on it for my grandchildren so they can pick their fall decorations. And I'm going to plant that garden and pumpkins you get the inside story here that's right and we also <laughs> we also had to call almost had to call 911 again but it wasn't really bad i was um uh, we had some uh landscape fabric where we were cutting the burning the holes so we could plant plants and she had she made markers on it and i was going around with my little dragon just whoosh, whoosh, watch this well it was really windy the hay caught fire <laughs> and we were like freeze okay we but stomping. let me let me tell you a backstory about that no you know that's it's not yes part of i this. am telling it <laughs> so when we first moved here we <clears throat> before we ever moved here we planted this huge orchard out in the way out in the field and it's super hard for us to take care of but we planted this orchard we kept the berms covered in hay and we decided one day that we were going to go out there and burn the weeds on a very windy, hot, dry, on a windy day. super dry day in the middle of a drought. We decided we was going to do this. Yeah. With no, like, well, there was supposed to be water out there. We had a um, water spigot out there, but by the time I ran and got to the barn to get my tractor with a front end loader to push the dirt over so on it, I the say, PVC was melted down. Before I, before we start this project, I say, do you think I should go get hose pipes and get them over here? Should we have water? No, we'll be <clears> fine. <throat> In just a matter of a second, it, it was, caught that hay on fire and it spread. It probably burned. Um, it probably burned an acre, acre and a half. In a minute. And it was going toward our neighbor's pasture. And if it ever got across our little road, I, I about died. We both about died. Yes, I literally we did. I was attack. hyperventilating, couldn't <laughs> breathe. And um, the, the perfect storm happened because yes. <clears throat> we had our golf cart out there. <laughs> it was circling the golf cart and we almost melted the tires on the golf cart. Mm -hmm. My tractor, I was running around, you know, doing fire breaks with my front end loader. <clears throat> Excuse me. My hydraulic hose busted. So my, my, my birthday. My front end loader was doing this and it just went boom, like that. And all my hydraulic fluid went out on the ground. So I couldn't, I was driving my tractor and it was, we was running around with a rake and just putting it out. And but. the fire burned <clears throat> all of our water and irrigation system. It caught all of it on fire, melted, melted it. The, so we had no water out there. We were running around here like mad maniacs. Our son Chase was home and he was running <laughs> trying to put the fire out. He was panicking, call 911. <laughs> and he did. But he came in the house. <laughs> And he called 911 and they never came because the they can't address. find us. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah, we're in the sticks. <laughs> it was horrible. It really was horrible. And we had people. <laughs> yeah, neighbors, neighbors driving by and just sitting at the road up there looking. Well, we had our gate locked, so they couldn't get in here to help us. And they were just standing up there watching us. It was then it was horrible. Today it's funny. But like it's it was terrible. Chase was <coughs> hilarious because he was in a complete. Pandemic. Chase said he was just telling Kaylani that story, but he was freaking out. I'm I'm like, calm down, and I was screaming. I was like, calm down. I've got it under control. <laughs> it was scary, and then not. But just a few years before that. He caught this side of the hill on fire. Okay. And, I'm not an and arsonist. Chance, Chance was here then. Chase wasn't home then. Chance was 
he was in the bed sound asleep. Gene starts hollering at us. I run out there. <laughs> we He's in get his the flip fire flops out. and shorts. We come in and we I holler for chance to come help. He comes running out there and he had just slipped on some of Gene's shoes flopping off of him. He was in his little jockey short <clears throat> and we were trying to put that fire out. Okay. That's enough of <laughs> so, that. Mess. I told you all that because when he got that fire burner out this weekend, I got real scared. <laughs> I had no, my, I, I had nine one one on ready. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you though now we we've been really more cautious when we do that because I'll get my tractor, fill the whole bucket up with water, have hose pipes over there, and just oh soak gosh. everything down before we even get started. Some, yeah, sometimes that's what I say. But so what we anyway. did, that's if Dad says every. If dad ever says, I've got this. this <laughs> oh, well, <boy. clears throat> I mean, we definitely keep things fun hey. and crazy and interesting. It's you never right. get bored around here. It's all right. It's okay. We got it under control. Yeah, I needed to burn it anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, my neighbor burned 600 acres and literally did about burn everybody's house down. Yeah, that, that was scary, too. <laughs> We but, have some adventures out here. Some of them are scary. But, yep. So, <coughs> boy, that piling is just. That's <coughs> killing you me. You go outside for well, any time, it just gets all in your throat. But what we did on our fruit, we got fruit berms borders all the way around the new addition. Oh, yeah. And what, 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 <laughs> G and G. So, <laughs> this story is the reason that I like y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tracy, it was hilarious. I wished I, I wished I had a video just filming everybody running and screaming and the drama. It was hilarious. I wish so bad I would have had my camera going. We had just started the YouTube channel, like barely started yeah. the YouTube channel. I wish so bad we would be viral because <laughs> that was that was really really fun. Yeah, that was really really yeah. funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just glad my mom and dad weren't over here because they might have might have kicked the bucket. <laughs> it, was. it was bad. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Anyway, so on our fruit tree border berms, we laid landscape fabric, and that's where we burnt some holes in to yeah. plant inside of. Them. That that's what we did, and I'm not a fan of landscape fabric. I'm definitely I'm not a fan of it, but I'm also getting older. And that is a lot of space to hand weed because well, we don't use chemicals. Well, but the landscape fabric, you're suppre you're keeping the weeds out. It's still getting water yeah, where you want permeable. it to get water. And so that's, anyway, life goes on. So we laid the landscape. We decided to do it because it's just too much to hand weed. And we don't spray Roundup and all that stuff anywhere where we eat the food. So we laid that fabric and we put hay on top of it, mm -hmm. burnt some holes in some places so that I can companion plant in front of the fruit trees. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really, really pretty. Yep. It's going to be beautiful. I can't wait for y'all to see the video Thursday and see what we accomplished this past weekend. Yep. And we had a great Easter with our family. We missed our kids, daughter-in-laws, grand children mm -hmm. yeah because i when they're not here i don't get any candy but if they're here i can sneak some chocolate every now and then you had plenty of no i didn't cobbler know. and banana pudding you there was plenty. no chocolate it's all right uh have you ever had predators yes yes with your animals um i come out the door a year or so ago before we got clyde I woke up one morning and there was a coyote standing 20 yards from my main goat, my baby goats. And I went, I ran in here and got my rifle. I would have that's, busted that yote um, quick. That, that's but, when you did it. What did you do? You went and got light. That's when we got clock. Yeah, I got a solar lights out there that come on at night on motion. And then um, that's when we found got Clyde. Clyde and also... Like the other night, like here lately with all these full moons and things going on in the atmosphere, these coyotes have been crazy. You can go outside probably right now, and when they start up at dark, 
Clyde goes crazy. Mm -hmm. He tries to jump the fence. Yeah. Um, and the wild hogs. I'm looking at some questions here. Uh, Renee, my daughter-in-law, went through and pulled questions from our last live that she thought we might not have got to answer. I'm with you, Edith. And she made us a list. So um, I think I, we answered most of these. But where did you get your muscadines? We get them from Petals from the Past. My lavender cookie recipe. I still got to post that. I'm sorry, y'all. I will get it done. It's been a busy week. Um, parking arrangements at Petals is great for the event. Really good parking arrangements. The farm across the road, which is Mountain View Farm and Orchard, they <coughs> uh, allow people to park over there, too. There's policemen there that helps. Mm -hmm. Like, the parking is spot on. Are they it's having good. that... Um ride back and forth between the farms this year uh-uh hey, not, not for antiques that's oh. usually black and blueberry mm -hmm. festival well, they should do, it for that. <clears throat> do you get your son hemp from Hoss? sheila and greg if y'all are on here i We're answered getting... this last week but i didn't think y'all carried Hoss seed um hemp, sun, hemp. sun hemp seeds do y'all carry sun hemp seeds to sell for people to grow as a cover crop and for fodder for animals. Um, <clears throat> we'll see if Sheila's still on here. She answers that. She's not. Um, the variety of blackberries that we grow are Kiowa. They do yeah. have thorns. They're not thornless, but they're really good blackberries. We do grow pawpaws. Pawpaws are actually native here. Be safe, Phyllis. Stay out of that storm. Are you gone? Good yeah, night, they got Phyllis. A, they got a bad storm we'll coming. see you soon. And have you tried Ricola mint? I have Ricola. not. I have not. I have not seen that available to buy it or even seeds or anything. So if I found it, I would definitely try it. Uh Sun Hemp's awesome though. It's almost getting time to plant too. Yep. Yeah. Our animals, yeah, love. they do have sun hemp. Oh, they have sun hemp, yes. All seeds okay, has sun hemp. It's know. uh starting at $12.99. Okay, what Show is, how much is that? $12.99 is a pound. You get a pound of sun hemp seed for $12.99. Well, let's pulse. see how much you get if you get uh 10 pounds. Hey, and it goes a long way. Yeah. Um, it don't, it doesn't it does take go much. a long way. It does. Hey, and if y'all order any seeds from Hoss, y'all use our link. Ten Please. pounds. Ten pounds is only thirty nine ninety nine. We get a lit. We're affiliates with them, and we get a little bit of commission off of what y'all order if you use our link. It doesn't cost you any more money. It's just something Hoss does with us, and um, it helps us. Here yeah, we had we had somebody asking a question the other day about Clyde and Champ. Why they look like they are so skinny all the time? Well, well, skinny. Well, Champ. About he always that dog was the run of the litter. Um, he has always had stomach issues, and he goes to the vet. The mm -hmm. vet says he's perfectly healthy. He's just got stomach issues. I don't know why he eats comfrey all the time. Loves it, and he's just a sickly dog all the time. Yeah, but he's but he's healthy. I mean, he's he, healthy as a mule. Plus, he, he just had uh, surgery. He took his manhood away. And he's, we tried to calm him down and he's not calm. Well, and he had some little something going on with him. Yeah. So we had him removed, but he, uh, but I mean, he's, he's, he gets all of his warmers. He gets all of his medicines. He always has, he's just, uh, he's always just a sickly, he was a sickly dog. He just always has been. And Clyde is almost two years old and he eats like a horse. He's about a hundred pounds or more. He's, he's just, just losing his. He's just got coat. a lot of hair, and it, I don't know it's deceiving or something, but he is huge. He knocks me down. Yeah, he's <laughs> a giant, but he's a big old gentle giant. We yeah, saved Clyde. We rescued him, and he's so. I I just think Clyde's just so great. It's called Melorganite. Melorganite. M i l o r g a n i t e. M i l o. G-O-R-A-N-I-T-E. There you go. That's close enough. I have to write it out. Uh, Edith says, the meet and greet is great. I have our house reserved for the weekend on the lake. Awesome. We look forward to seeing you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. We need to have a song to get started with a, 
with our lives. Uh huh. My but older you name. It. You need to sing our new theme song. Some say. No, love. that's not our theme oh. song. What's our theme song? I don't remember. Oh, the Alaskan Last Frontier. Mm hmm. We're still in Alaska. The Last My Frontier's older theme neighbor. song. Yes. Beautiful Zell, that was well for dirt, dirt washed on the grass, covered it. Yeah, you've got to keep, mm -hmm. if you let dirt ever get on top of that, it um, it's dirt and it's going to grow. Yeah, stuff. weeds so grow in dirt. You got to clean it off and put new uh, yep. like mulch or straw or whatever you're going to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I did not get lessons about fire from Lester. Um <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't like fire. You're never going to live that one down. <laughs> no, I don't like fire. I was driving. It was a funny story. I was driving down the road one day going to, going to Pedals from the Past. Oh gosh. And, um, I forgot about that. I, I, I was in my dress slacks and clothes, you know, coming home from work. And uh, I looked over to my left <clears throat> and there was this massive forest fire coming up on this house out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it was within 30, 40 yards of the house, like starting to burn the outbuilding. So nobody was at the front door. I was banging on it, ran around back, could not find nobody. Um, so I grabbed uh, pine limbs, ripped them off trees, and just started beating the uh, fire, trying to stop it from burning their house down. I grabbed their hose pipe and started watering around. They call me the fireman. That's my name. <laughs> and I start hosing it. But man, I'm not. I, I did uh, save it. And then I called 911. Hello. And uh, they came out there, the volunteer fire department. And I know some of the kids that came out there from the area. <laughs> it was hilarious. But they, they stopped the fire. But it burned a lot of woods out there. But um, you saved it. You saved the I was the, the hero. They didn't even put me on the news. He did. He saved it. Like, he was a hero that day. Yeah, it ruined my dress shoes and pants. Yeah, it burnt the bottom of his dress shoes up. <laughs> Melted them. Melted them. Oh, let's he see. Sa he saved the, uh, saved the day. Uh, but anyway. He was the hero that day. I would never. Yeah. Um, there was a question on here a minute ago. I missed it. Uh, I saw it and I missed it. Uh, L are a must for the farm. Yes, they are. What is? Um, Great Pyrenees. Yep. Clyde is a sweetheart. Yeah, large spoon of yogurt it did wonders oh, for yeah, the stomach. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Okay, we need to do. Yeah, that. but he yogurt yesterday we were just out there and you could tell he wasn't feeling good. He he just um, it goes in spells. He'll be fine for a few weeks and then one week he'll just be. I always know when he feels bad, he goes straight for the comfrey and eats it. He just eats the comfrey. <laughs> 125 peeps are here. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I remember the little peeps you used to get at Easter. I do remember the little peeps. <laughs> I don't think I saw those I used, this year. I like those little those little Easter eggs that mm -hmm. were like that. Had was like a chocolate, but had a, a yeah. like an M&M. &M. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Candy, candy, candy. Well, it's just a certain time of the year. <laughs> hmm. Well, where do you buy the Malorganite? Um, Co-ops should yeah. have it. Co-ops. Yeah. I used to get it from Petals from the Past is where I get it, but the co-ops should have it. I would think I would think the big box <clears throat> stores would have it. I don't know. Actually, what Malorganite is, and this might gross you out, but it's human waste sludge that's been... Uh broken it's been composted and well, turned okay into so a, let's go turned on this into an greener well, pastures. i mean yeah truth is truth so turned into uh organic fertilizer well that's what another person was posting uh, you can take human hair and put out there and it repels deer too mm -hmm. they, they smell hate the, the smell they hate the smell oh and also this was a product that we used at petals from the past we never have used it here so no it was um it was Oh, what was Deer Away, I think is what it was oh, yeah. called. But it was like these little round discs. And inside the disc, it had uh, processed hog's blood. Oh. And you put the uh, disc like, like in a perimeter around whatever you're trying to protect. And the deer, the deer can smell it, but yeah. we can't really smell it. And it makes the deer think that something's been slaughtered. 
and they will not come yeah. within that the, perimeter. Dr. Powell, and it worked. Dr. Powell they worked. is smart. Yeah, they and worked. He, he even uh, would take um, Irish Spring soap, and you can grind that up, and he would hang it around trees, and mm -hmm. he would be out there. Well, well, okay, we'll go there. Dr. Powell, I love that man. Yes. Um, Wendy will have to bring you some freeze dried peeps. Yes. Heck yeah. Thank you, Alan. Low no, calorie. Yes. He would like that. But yeah, Patty, he does know what he needs. Funny thing, we, when we had our orchard way out there, it is it was in a fence. Well, he couldn't get in there. As soon as we opened that fence, mm -hmm. Chant would run and make a beeline toward the comfrey every time. I knew that. Yep. Yeah, it's he, he knows. knows. Cheryl says, Tracy, I love that hutch behind you. You have such great taste. Oh, thank you. I got this at, there is a thing, and they still have it. They still do it. It's called the Vintage. Okay. <laughs> it's called the Vintage Barn Picking. Picking. Yep. Picking. Vintage Barn Picking in Fife. Fife, Alabama. The UFO capital of the world. And it had <laughs> they have all these different antique <clears throat> vendors set up all over this barn area. The barn is actually where they hold weddings. It's a wedding venue. Beautiful, beautiful farm. And they have antique vendors set up everywhere. That's where we got our farm table. That's yeah, where I table. got this yeah. and painted it. Um, I got a lot of pieces from there. A lot of different pieces from there just because they're unique pieces that you're not going to just find everywhere, which is what I like. So I would love to go to that again this year, but it is. It's it's really April cool because they, the, it's not like other places, you, like you have to purchase tickets and it's not really expensive, but when you park, seven bucks. I mean, you go in, you got to have a ticket and man, it's, it's really good stuff. It's not like flea market junk it's really good stuff it's really good stuff and the prices like aren't out the roof either mm -hmm. so um well they weren't last time i went it might be a different story in now fife alabama yeah and the thing is like all the hotels up there if you don't book far in advance you will not get a place to stay anywhere close it is well i think it is roswell you're correct in Alabama, it's the UFO capital. But yeah, the UFO capital is Roswell, New Mexico. So that vintage pick and barn thing is April the 26th and 27th. And that would mean three weekends in a row for us being away from the farm and out of town. And we just can't do that. Because on the 12th, 13th, that's Keepers of the Old Ways. And we're going to be at that event. And then, of course, the uh, 19th and 20th, is Antiques in the Garden. Robin Cookies. Robin um, Eggs. Oh, cool. Yes. Robin and eggs. so, anyway, we can't go this year. But if y'all might want to go, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very neat. It's where I got most of our furniture. Yeah, I can't wait to learn from Perry Hill Farms on mm -hmm. all the harvesting methods. So, Keepers of the Old Ways. I'm going to look that up and just tell y'all some of the classes real quick. Some of y'all may have heard of the book about doing things the old ways and learning. I forgot the name of that book, but it's um, the old way. Something yeah. about the old way. Yeah. Canning, that kind of thing. And how you um, build a um, smokehouse and can preserve your own meat and how to keep. And, yeah. you know, what did people do before they had refrigerators or freezers? And there's a lot of information out there. Well, but that, this, this event is Keeper of the Old Ways. It's kind of that. It's that theme. And, um, I mean, you never know what's going to happen and you might need this again. So I know it's going to be some processing classes, some herb apothecary mm -hmm. classes. Um, uh, Flomaton famous is doing a class on healthy on the farm. Uh, crazy Lizzie goat farm. I think they're teaching a class mm -hmm. about soap making maybe, but they have, they're definitely going to be a vendor there. Did you, um, I can't find it. Did, did you announce anything yet about any of the... Hold on, sir. What? <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> you know, the little meeting you had this week. No. Okay. Uh, we're we'll not. keep that. We got a lot to do for that. Okay. Hey, the newsletter is a little bit late this month. My fault. 
because I didn't get all the information to Jacqueline on time. So it's a little bit late. Um, I think she said she's going to definitely try to have it out this week sometime. So close. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But this week she will have the newsletter out, I'm pretty sure. Um, so y'all look, if you have not subscribed to our website, just digitfarms.com, please go over, subscribe to our website, to our newsletter, and you'll get the newsletter around the first Definitely by the first week of every month. And it's just, I'm proud of my news, of our newsletter. So, uh, Pat. Good information, what to do the month. Pat, Petals from the Past is about um, two and a half hours from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So, Meridian's about another 45 minutes to an hour. So, you're probably looking at, I would call it three and a half to four hours, depending on how fast you drive to get to pedals. Hmm. Yes. Carla, somebody else, Patricia mentioned it too. Yeah. The candy eggs were called Robin eggs. I haven't seen those in a long time. Of course, I don't go walking down the candy aisle, but. So pedals from the past is in Jemison, Alabama. If you wanted to just Google map, map it and see. Or the way the country folks say Jemison. J E M I S O N. Jemison. And Clanton is Clanton. <laughs> I was just looking to see if I could find some of the classes here. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me just tell y'all a few, just in case you're thinking about coming. Uh, you have to pay an, for an admission ticket, which is $15. There's a grafting class, <clears throat> how to graft fruit trees with Flomaton Famous. Perry Hill Farms has chicken processing, <laughs> rabbit processing, and pork processing boy, boy. there's a blacksmithing don't know how to do that oh, one. there's a what is that uh, the pork and rabbit blacksmithing that blacksmithing's cool crazy lizzie's doing soap yeah, nicole from that. hidden oaks homestead is doing an apothecary class there's a rotational grazing class that's now, what gonna is be going the, on what is she going to be in the apothecary medicine Herbal medicine. Okay. That's what that is. Apothecary. Okay. I didn't know if maybe she was doing something else. Full of herbal medicine. So lots of good fun classes. We're going to be there on that Saturday. All day. Attending some of the classes and hopefully getting to meet some of y'all. It's going to be a fun, fun day. Wow. I'm two mm. hours from Meridian. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's 830. It's already been an hour. That's crazy. Hey, Jackie, how's it going? <laughs> Look at my coffee cup. Oh, she's Isn't going. that pretty? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for it. I love it. Strength. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Strength. Jackie sent this to me when I was so sick and not doing well and sweet encouragement. Thank you so much. I love it. Now, how do you spell her last name? Bershot? I don't know how to say it right. Jackie Franklin Vers Versho Versha. I don't know how to say your name right. You'll have to tell me next time I see you. All right. Uh, thank you, Catherine. Catherine loves the newsletter. Are there anything else before we uh, meet the Yellow Brick Road? I don't think I have anything. I really didn't have an organized. I had a reminder. Talk today. <laughs> I figured we'd come up with stuff to talk about. All right, you guys. We're going to sign off here, and we will see y'all next Monday night at 730 at the farm table. If you have any questions for us or anything you'd like for us to talk about, uh, send message to us through Facebook Messenger, um, email, just dig at farms at gmail.com. All the different messengers, however you want to send us, send us a question and we will try to answer it next Monday night. Y'all don't forget to watch the video Thursday to see what all we did this past weekend. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot done. All right. Yep. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. Bye. See y'all next week. See y'all.
Oh, how do you sign up for the newsletter? Go to justdigitfarms at gmail, justdigitfarms at gmail.com. And as soon as you go there, this little window will pop up and say, sign up for our newsletter and just put in your email address. That's all you got to do. And then every first of the month, it will be emailed to you. Mm -hmm. And Jacqueline's also set up on the website an archive where you can go to Garden Newsletter and pull up the past month's newsletter mm -hmm. if you missed it. Good night, so, Chance. Good night, sons. Good night, Chance. Good night, Chase.